Hi, this is Broderick Boyd. And this is Antje Boyd. And together we help singles to find the right partner to share their life with and be happier. And today we have another powerful question from a reader. And uh, this question is from a single woman and she says, Hi Brody and Antje, how, I'm curious about how you navigate physical attraction in dating. I find that I know pretty soon after meeting someone if I have physical attraction for them, usually within a couple of dates. But there are several awesome guys that I'm friends with that are spiritual, socially conscious, kind, attentive, but I don't seem to find myself attracted to them. I find myself saying he is only XYZ tall or doesn't have hair, has a funny accent, I'm way better looking than him. I don't think it's entirely about their looks. It's about their energy confidence as well, since I have dated men who wouldn't be considered very physically attractive, but carried themselves with a certain confidence. I sometimes feel guilty for being shallow, that I'm missing out on great guys, and that I'll never meet someone if I keep this attitude. But I do want a sexy and attractive man. Thoughts on having it all? Woo! I love that question. So, here's the thing, right? I think definitely physical attraction is very important. I mean, I had my, and, and you know what? It's all about like, how do you relate to this, right? So I was standing behind, okay, I'm superficial. Yes, to me, it's important that my man is tall, that he has dark hair, and that he has light eyes. That's really important to me, and I don't care. I'm superficial if that's what it is, right? So that's number one, to just really back up your decisions if that's important to you. Look, you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person, right? You're never going to date anybody else for the rest of your life. So you have the right to choose who you want to have, uh, how you want the package to look like. However, what Brittany and I always like to say is why is that important? What's the big why behind it, right? Mm -hmm. In marketing, we talk about features versus benefits, right? So like the feature might be the tall man, but maybe the benefit is just so you feel more protected or you feel more masculine. So maybe a man who's like slightly shorter might also make you feel, very, he might still be very masculine. So this is just an example, right? Um, and there's, there's so much more. So that's number one to go into that. And then number two is also to be aware of what physical attraction is. So are we talking about looks? Well, are we talking about, I'm going to have, you know, like butterflies in my stomach and, you know, this crackling chemistry because what research has shown over and over again that number one, if you are an anxious attachment style, your anxiety might translate directly into attraction. So what that means to you is when you are attracted, when you actually have this really intense physical experience of attraction mm -hmm. right away, right? You meet this guy, you don't even know anything about him, right? That, my dear one, means more like danger, danger, right? Because you're about to attract the same love pattern that you have attracted in the past and that, in quotation marks, did not work for you. So that's what you definitely want to be aware of as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I agree with Auntie said. I said we say it's very clear to be it's very important to be clear on three things in your dating. It's your must haves, the things that you know you absolutely have to have in your partner, the uh, deal breakers, which are the things that you absolutely can't have in your ideal partner, and then your wants or desires, which are in the middle. Now the key is to be very firm on your must haves and your um, your deal, deal breakers. breakers, but in the middle, the desires to be more flexible, to be more open to being surprised by the universe. And with all of these, like what Anja said, to be clear on, on the deeper why. Why do you really want those things? What do you really want to provide? Like, for example, if Anja and me were going to be meeting each other on online dating, which we didn't, we met it in person at a workshop, um, we never would have attracted each other because we were both thinking we wanted things that we didn't really want. Like, I, uh, well, I wasn't that I, I did, said it, but like I wasn't expecting to have a woman from a European uh, woman, um, and also that the age difference. You know, I wasn't expecting a woman that was a little bit older than me, so we have about a difference about four years. But, um, but the deeper why, what I wanted is I really wanted a woman who was intellectually, that we can connect intellectually on all these different levels, which I got. And she also was saying she wanted a man with a master's degree and a certain a certain age older, but that was because she also wanted that deeper intellectual connection. Exactly, exactly. Which is, so to get clear on what you really want, so then you mm -hmm. can be surprised. There's that old saying, sometimes you, you don't always get what you want, you get what you need. And the universe works in funny ways that way. So it's good to be clear on all those things and to be open to be surprised 
in in those deep in, with with what the package might look like, but that you get your deeper need fulfilled. So what we're really saying is when you meet a man and, and and you feel like, gosh, I just really like this guy, I just really gel with him, but he's so not my type. I just have a friend who totally is, is dating, is super happy with a guy right now who's, who, who was so not her type, right? Then to let that go, to really trust, like, I really like this guy, I really get along with this guy. Who cares about your type? You know, research has shown that type is being developed through, you know, the relatives you had, right? Or the friends you had. So it's so random how a type is actually being formed in your brain. And then it's actually not really relevant, like, who you're supposed to end up with. But really to trust yourself, really, and I say this over and over again, how do you feel in the presence of this man? How do you feel in the presence of this man, right? You know, I wanted to have somebody who's like an athlete. I was like running and I was swimming and... And, and all of that, and, and Rudy, is, is, he doesn't really like exercise. He doesn't really need it. He doesn't really like it. He has his own way of exercising. And, and you know, I, I could not imagine, looking back, right, like all my years of dating, and I have like one girlfriend who I've had over the years who still knows those times, right? I can't even imagine, like, th there's anybody better for me than Brody, right? So to really, really trust that and, and just really see, like, how is this man making you feel on a daily basis, right? Yeah. And how compatible are you guys on all levels? Yeah. And also to be aware of, do you want the human level where it's just compatible? Or also do you want the soul level where you have a bigger purpose, where you have a bigger mission, a bigger calling in life? You're living for something bigger than yourself. Yeah. So yeah, super powerful. And the last thing I'll add is the five whys that comes from, uh, I think from Socrates. So that to say, to ask yourself what you really want in your partner, but then to go five levels deep, why do you want that? 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 And ultimately it's to dig down to that deepest why, what you really want, which ultimately, like Auntie just said, is a feeling. It's usually a feeling. I want to be happy. I want to be fulfilled. And if you feel that with the guy, the package can be different, but if you're getting that ultimate deeper need, then what more can you ask for in a happy relationship? And I had a client who was also, he was struggling with, oh, I'm, I'm dating this woman, but she's, she's an alcoholic. No, she's, <laughs> she's not she, alcoholic, she's she doesn't, the opposite. She doesn't, she, <laughs> the only problem is she doesn't drink and she's a vegetarian. I'm like, wow, those are some serious red flags. But I said, right. well, how do you feel when you're with her? He's like, well, right. I'm with her, I feel great, we feel awesome. I'm like, all right, just keep seeing her and see how things develop. Mm -hmm. And of course, they ended up getting married. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's the power of going for the deeper wise. So that's what we have to say about it. Super great question. Thank you so much for submitting. That was very powerful. Hope that was helpful, our answer for that. And uh, yeah, this is our passion. We love going deeper and helping singles find the right partner for them. So if you're listening to this and you want to find the right partner for you, you want to get your questions answered, all you have to do is go to our website right now, findtherightpartner.com. Findtherightpartner.com. And you can go there. And right now we're offering a complimentary gift of a one-on-one -on -one find the right partner strategy session or discovery session where we can go deeper on the phone and actually help you get clear on what you really want. What is that deeper why for you? What are the blocks that are getting in the way of that? And start to form a strategy, a plan of action for you. We do have very limited spots for these, but right now we're offering them for completely complimentary as well. If you go on our website, it's our special gift for you um, to go deeper and start this journey to love for you. So again, findtherightpartner.com. Much love. We hope that was helpful. Do you have any final words for today? No, it's, it's really just follow, follow your feeling. Mm. follow your feeling follow the feeling or follow mm -hmm. your bliss as mm -hmm. joseph campbell says so mm -hmm. much love we wish you the best and i hope you, this video was helpful look forward to seeing you on the next one or on our next coaching call and we'll talk again very soon much love take care take care bye-bye mm -hmm.